I'm Trevor, the CEO of the SAME Foundation. The donation we received from Interbase helped us in procuring vital, life-saving medical equipment and PPE for Tigerberg and Huitzkia hospitals in the Western Cape. Um, this was while the Western Cape was the epicenter of the pandemic. If you would like to get in touch or assist us in these projects, you can get hold of us on our website, which is www.samefoundation.org.za, Facebook and Instagram or LinkedIn. Race number four on the card goes off at five past two on the Sunday afternoon over the 1600 meter trip. Race four does get off jackpot one and you need to get those jackpot one bets on by five past two. We do have a rerun for you in Bebu when finishing third and that was behind Lee Express on the 27th of June over the 1400 meter trip on the poly track. Kept together at the 300 meter marker. Starboard's now in full cry. Lee Express is a runner and Lady Usra on the outside. And Bear was running on in the yellow silks. Another love. Lee Express. Starboard on the outside. And Bear was warming up. Lee Express. Lady Usra's on the inside. On the outside. And Bear was. But Lee Express won it from Lady Usra. And Bear was and another love. Oh, Graham, there we saw a rerun of Mbewu, and if we just go to the best-weighted column, Mbewu and Shavut are the two horses that top this uh, column, and I think they could be the two horses that do possibly fight out the finish, a three-year-old daughter of William Longsword and a four-year-old son of Elusa Fort. Whose camp are you in? I'm very much in the camp of Shavut, and I promised myself this is the very, very last time. Three runners appear to stand out, number four Mbewu, five Shavut, and eight Tofas. Those are the ones that appear to stand out. So if you're not firmly in the camp of any of them individually, then go with all three. Shavut could be the brass of the year. He hasn't won for 711 days. Uh, the Vaughan Marshall stable seems to be a little flat in KwaZulu Natal. But despite all of that, and uh, you know he hasn't won for 711 days. Despite all of that, I'm going to give Shavut one more chance. It's a day when we've recognised that many of these races are very competitive, you've got to go very wide, so you've got to take a chance somewhere. So I've suggested Shavut as a bipod and a pick six banker, recognizing, of course, that Mbewu and Toffus are big runners, so I'm going to bank a Shavut in my pick six by jackpots, just to give me a little bit of cover, just to hedge my bet slightly in the first jackpot, I'll probably put all three in, uh, but you've got to narrow this pick six down because I'm going wide in a number of other legs, including a field race, um, I think in race five. Uh, so for me, one last chance, Shavut, to finally get rid of that brass tag. Horse number eight, Tofas, he could possibly be the unknown quantity in the race. He's only had four starts to date and he's held that post maiden form nicely, running a good second behind Kotinos. That was, of course, on a tough and inside track. He's a horse, as I mentioned, only four runs under the belt. He's still improving. He's on the up. Cabello Matsunyani rides him for the very first time. So Tofas could possibly be the one that could upset the top two. But I'm going to be with the Philly, number four in Bewu. I thought it was a pleasing run on the poly track last time out over the 14. I think the 1600 meter trip is going to suit. Even though she hasn't run into the top three over this distance. I just think with Richard Furry, Sean Terry, they team up. They're a powerful combination. And Bewu is going to be my narrow first choice ahead of uh, number eight. Toffas and then number five, Shavut. Just t touching on Toffas, he's out of a very good mare, Chrissy Sanchez. She did extremely well for Chris Vanickirk and Sean Terry. So there's a lot of upside uh, for Toffas. As you said, he's just learning the trade. He's only had the four starts. Good post made and run. Uh, so you've got to respect Toffas. Yes, it does look a three-cornered contest between numbers four, five, and eight. And as you heard, Rahil is firmly in the camp of Mbewu, and why not? Uh, gets three and a half kilograms from Shavut. I'm inclined to give Shavut one last chance. My name is Beston. I live in Cape Town. And also, I do uh, delivery. Interbet helped me to realize my dreams. Now I have my own delivery vehicle and I'm able to do the removal in and around Cape Town.